To me, great leadership is actually really simple. It rests in the core of how you and what you believe about other people. And if you fundamentally believe that people want to do their best, then I think you also become a better leader. Nobody comes into the office every morning and try to do poorly. We all have an intention to be the best we can be. And the job of a leader is to bring that out. There's also some complexity to being a leader because actually the things that you have to do to motivate different types of people can be quite different. And the situation may also require you to act in different ways. That means it's not easy to be a leader. But the heart of leadership and the trust that people want to do well is actually very simple. My greatest professional success is about the people that I work with and have worked with in the different jobs I've had. So I consider my greatest success when I can actually be allowed to build a team and to interact with really good people and to see them grow and to see them thrive. And somewhere down the road, I become less important and actually it maybe does not matter so much that I'm there because they can do it all on their own. That's actually what I consider uh, to be my greatest success. My career has had a number of defining moments. I cannot identify the single moment that defines the whole career. I think it's been a number of choices and then the ability to reflect on those choices, what they mean, where they will take me, what I've learned. So I see my career as a continuous shift between choice and reflection and choice and reflection, and then to learn along the way and to be ready for the next thing that will come up. I work for a great company. NKT is an old company with strong traditions and strong values and passion and great employees. We've had to adapt along the years. The environment changes and we've had to change along with it. I'm confident that with the employees, with the passion we have, with our experience, we will also be able to adapt to the changes to come. And we will still be here 125 years from now. Most executives go through their career and they achieve what they achieve because they are the smartest and the best of what they do. And then they reach a moment when they realize that it's actually not about that, it's about themselves. It's about their character and their ability to use that character to influence other people. I think that to really achieve executive presence, you need to train it. Like everything else, practice makes perfect. And executive presence is only achieved if you continuously train and focus on it to become better in how you affect and how you interact with other people.